B Ultra Marine Squad Capitan Manius Domitius Pulcherius. Supporting some combined force of Cadians and Praetorians and defending some backwater agri world from a chaos incursion. Fucking heretics. Purge. Shit was going bad. Running out of guardsmen to throw at their guns and blades. They are pushing our forces back. There is a demon prince leading the attack. The Feth is the Inquisitor doing .jpg. Get a vox from the Inquisitor that some reinforcements have arrived. Finally some good news. JPEG currently defending their landing position. The reinforcements have arrived. Suddenly a bunch of what I assume are Kriegers from what they are yelling are rushing the front lines. Fuckers keep screaming shit like Blitzkrieg and for the great Futher upon the golden throne in Krieg. Suddenly the armor divisions arrive. The fuck are those dot confusion tanks that if they were bigger they would rival Bane Blades. The weird Kriegers keep calling them mice 2k or something. They are pushing the heretics back. They are saving the day. My face when some Kriegers suddenly cuck me. My battle brothers in chapter from bringing victory. Still gonna steal the credit. Be me. Commissar Mathias Mark of the 917th Cadian Regiment. Fighting heretics on some backwater shithole. Fight is going really bad. Had to shoot half my squad just to keep them in line. Even the ultramarines we called in are getting stomped. This is howdy.voxcast. Thank the fucking emperor reinforcements have arrived. They're from Krieg. They drop in some kind of shiny new banner blades and start charging the enemy. Can't let them steal all the credit. As one of the tanks charge forwards, I hop on top and yell at the soldiers inside to drive me to the front lines. They yell back jar common jail blitzkrieg for the fur. Tank rockets forward so fast I drop my sword. Starting to think this was a bad idea. Be me, traitor guard. Fighting with my fellow heretics against the corpse god's lackeys. Can't aim for shit thanks to my sight and depth perception getting fucked by chaos. I'm not too sure about this gift. Warp. Our demon prince that took what felt like a decade to summon libs a charge against the enemy. Watch in horror as they get slammed and ran over by what looks like a big fuck off tank. Not too sure if our demon prince is still alive. I somewhat see and hear panic spread through the weaker disciples. This not going according to plan. Siege. Decide to make a tactical withdrawal and start searching a weapon more suitable for fighting the giant tank plowing right into our lines. Be me, Commissar Mathias Mark. These Kriegers are fucking crazy. They don't even bother firing the tank guns, all they do is run people over. Even the enemy's tanks. Surprisingly effective. Vid feed. Suddenly the tank I'm in makes a 90 degree turn that nearly throws me out. Tank is heading straight for the Demon Prince. Yell at driver to turn the fuck around. These crazy bastards speed up even faster. Fine. If this is how I die I'm going down swinging. Pull out my bolt pistol and start taking pot shots at the demon prince. For the emperor.primer. Be ultramarine squad capitan manius domitius pulcherius. Watching these kriegers wreck the heretics shit. Yell out on a vox speaker. The ultramarines claim this victory. Feel left behind. Go talk to Lastropath. Ask commander for reinforcements of Chad Marines. Hope they bring at least one Astralis. My face when still claiming credits. Be me Commissar Mathias Mark. Demon Prince has been buried under multiple tanks. Victory for the Emperor.Vox. Here over the Vox that the Ultra Smurfs are claiming credit for this victory. Fuck that dot warp. Tell the Kriegers that the Ultra Cucks are taking our rightfully deserved glory. Hear them mumble something about juice. All of the tanks at once stop running over fleeing cultists and head straight for the ultramarine encampment. Might get caught marshaled for this but it'll be worth it. Be traitor guard. My tactical retreat to find more suitable weapons against the giant tank have turned up nothing. Just more last guns and inferior slug guns that I can't even use properly. Thanks a lot siege.heresy. Hear both a tank engine roar and a demonic roar. Bite seems the demon prince is still alive. The tank and the demon charge at each other again. Watch it get run over while a commissar fires off bolt or pistol rounds off on it. And then watch even more tanks run it over. Fucking tanks. Demon prince is most definitely dead at this point. Feel the need to do something as there's fuck all in terms of weapons. Find some metal chains and hooks. Lumenglobe.jpg
Begin setting up my master plan as fast as I can. Be Ultramarine Squad Capitan Manius Domitius Polcherius. Be waiting for Battle Brother reinforcements. Is there an earthquake or is the armored support returning to camp to thank us for supporting them via our best of them allness? Get run over. This smells like heresy and tank treads. Super soldier sknoz. Most bones are now dust. Power armor is crushed. I am pancake marine. JPG I am also dead. Be elder. Watch from sidelines because fuck monkey in their stupid wars. Realize they are fighting chaos. Including the dark prince. The face when we probably need to jump in and help at some point, only to be blamed. Again. Be traitor guard. Be finishing my grand plan of metal rope and hooks to latch onto the tanks. I give a prayer of thanks to Tsinch for the plan he gifted me. See all the tanks make a U-turn and run directly into their lines and fortifications. Um. Full stop. Question mark I'm not complaining, but I really want to board some tanks. I gather a squad of corn worshippers as a part of my boarding party. Blood for the blood god I guess. Crimson. Become a part of the counter attack while the enemy is distracted with their own. A few chaos marines leading the assault shout for chaos and we make our charge into the enemy's lines. Be me. Tank commander Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Driving my big fucking moors tank at the enemy. Borrowed it from a cool guy on Armageddon called Hans. Since I borrowed it, the emperor would never forgive me if I didn't use it to kill heretics. Lead the charge with my brothers. Fucking Friedrich won't stop blasting loyalist metal over the Vox. How did he even get a hold of that dot blitz? Whatever, it's setting the scene quite well. Rolling over traitor guardsmen left and right, the treads of my moors now thoroughly drenched in blood. Laugh loudly as a traitorous starts gets crushed under the treads of my tank. For some reason, Craston refuses to fire the gun yet despite me telling him to. Keeps going on about having to find the right target. Well I mean he's not wrong, so make sure not to court martial him later. We picked up Acadian on our little field trip. He's hanging on for dear life. Spot fuck huge demon prince. My dick gets rock fucking solid. Tune into Vox. Full speed ahead, we're going to kill a demon prince in the name of the god Fara. Resounding jahil from crew and squadron. Tank speeds up and heads straight for the giant servant of Tsinch. Can hear Cadian firing his bolt pistol at the fucking thing. Tell all guns to fire on my mark. Prepare to fire my fuck huge cannon point blank into the abomination. Sending it into the warp screaming. Ram into it. Order Craston to fire. Before he's able to, every other fucking tank slams into the keeper of secrets. Everyone else assumes it's crushed. It's still alive however. Fire point blank into it. It lets out a shrieking moan as it's dragged back into the warp. No one notices due to the amount of blood already spewing out of the fucking demon. Don't even care. Got to kill a demon prince with my squadron. Suddenly hear something over the vox. Something that makes my blood boil. The ultramarines claim this victory. What the fuck they can't do that I hear the Cadian blare out. Indeed Cadian brother, they cannot. Spotted a couple heretic tanks earlier. Can easily just say they got ran over when we were killing the demon. Literally no one will vouch for the smurfs. Tune into Vox again. Those smurf bastards plan on taking the credit for this battle. Literally every other tank turns around suddenly. Wait what? They rev the fuck up and charge the smurfs. Decide to join them because a tank commander fights with his squadron. Whether or not it's the right thing to do. Before the smurfs have the chance to do shit or dick about it they get crushed by the masses. Take that you smurf fucker a starts reinforcement haven't arrived yet. Sweet. Suddenly hear a loud scream. An inhuman scream. Oh fuck. Pop open the hatch of my tank. See another fuck huge demon. This time a lord of change. It's stomping its way forward. Rally traitor guardsmen and fucking traitor a starts charging at us. The bird lets out a shrieking sound. Realized Sinch just pulled his Kikaku over our eyes. Oh fuck yes. My face when. Turn tank the around. Tell Craston to load up new rounds. Can hear the Cadian screaming about how fucked we are. Tune into Vox a third time. Bird 12 zero clock. Charge at will. Time to kill a greater fucking demon or die trying. Be traitor guardsman. 
counter-attack seems to be going way better than expected. The Boa starters are getting crushed by their own tanks, making it way more easier for our forces to break through their lines. All according to plan. Siege. Hear demonic screeching. Another demon of Siege has come to help. A tank has also noticed its arrival. They charge each other. Clang the demon of Siege has latched onto the front of the tank as it gets the wind knocked out of it from an about 50 miles per hour gut punch. Surprised it's still hanging on. See that this is the perfect moment to board a tank and gain some favor from Tsinge. Charge the tank along with my small squad with the intent to board the tank and get its crew very acquainted with the demons of Tsinge. B Captain Victoria Appleton, Praetorian Bane Blade Commander. Sipping tea with my squad mates, inside my tank Her Majesty's Majestic Lion. Vox is on mute since people keep demanding reinforcements. Not particularly concerned, 11 am is tea time, other regiments will just have to pick up the slack until 11.30, lazy buggers. Some sort of light mortar shell hits the tank, I drop my teacup, breaking it. Well that is just not proper, that was my great 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 grand uncle's teacup. Tea time is over. Crew rush to their places, barely able to contain their anger and disgust. Climb up into command cupola. Gesture with dueling foil for benefit of anyone watching. Yell into Voxlink. Charge the heathen scum crush them beneath our treads and scorch them with our flamers. For they are beneath contempt may the emperor have mercy on their souls for we shall not. Be Jasmine Guppen. Slanishy Bannerblade Commander. Snorting lines of coke 2 kilometers from front lines in a pleasure den while my tank Koki McCrape tank sits in a garage outside. Technically it is more sitting on top of the garage, or through the garage, depending on who you ask. Driving a building sized vehicle while high on promethium fumes is difficult. Vox is constantly alive with demands for reinforcements. Ha 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 nope. Busy here. Mortar shell hits tank, causing minor damage. Nope. Still don't care. Be Commissar Mathias Mark. We've run over the smurfs before they could call in reinforcements. That'll teach those bastards to steal our credit. Suddenly hear demonic screeching. Huge fucking bird demon shooting lightning everywhere starts blasting the fuck out of everything. We're so fucked. The Kriegers are undeterred and shout dead demon must turban for death or half. Tanks turn in unison to fight the demon. Our tank slams into the big bastard knocking the wind out of it. Still clinging onto the tank. Try to shoot it with my bolt pistol. Click click. Emperor damn it out of bullets. Regimental rattling probably ate half of them before we fought. With nothing better to do, I just start pistol whipping the fucker straight in the eye. Pray to the emperor these fuckers actually remember to use the main cannon sometime this millennium. Be Captain Victoria Appleton. Praetorian Bannerblade Commander. Tylaiaiaihuhu. Ram huge bird demon from other direction. Pinning it between the two tanks. By Jove the damn thing is still alive. Shoot it with dueling revolver until run out of bullets. Swing wildly at it with dueling foil but can't reach far enough to hit anything from tank cupola. Well, it was a jolly good effort, but sometimes a different plan is needed. Order driver to reverse, then ram it again. As the driver goes in reverse, manage to clip one of its wings with my dueling foil. Well that has never happened before. As the driver rams the bird again, I wonder if I should get the chip in my dueling foil fixed, or leave it since it tells a good story. Be me, Samus, Imperial Fist's tactical marine, stationed in orbit. Observing a satellite's view of the battle with my squad. Hard to make out much on the tiny cogitator screen. The Krieger's Moors is pretty easy to spot at least. Watch as it crushes into enemy lines before about facing. What are you doing dot Aquila? It rams full speed into the blueberries lines. Turns around again charges back into the enemy. Currently engaging a greater demon. Everyone is confused as to whose side the tank is on. We don't like smurfs but you still can't do that dot friendly fire incident. Orders come down to get in there despite no call for support. Load into a drop pod. Watch as a centurion lumbers up to the pod. He turns to the scout manning the launch controls before climbing in, and tells him. Actively target the rogue tank engaging the demon. Two targets, one drop pod. Orbital bombardment dot dynamic entry. Try to think of something cool to say when the door pops open planet side. 
Something to make Dawn proud. We are fortifying this position. Be me. Chaos Wizard from Beyond the Stars. Favored by Siege. With his mutagenic power flowing through my veins. Finally summoned a greater demon I'm a fucking nerd virgin. Watch the servants of the corpse emperor fall before its might. Suddenly, a massive tank rams it. My face when there's a commissar riding on it. My face when he's pistol whipping the greater demon in the eye. Suddenly, another tank rams my summon demon. And then it backs up, and rams it again. My face when I hear a whistling noise somewhere. Be me, Kato Sicarius, captain of the Ultramarine Second Company, master of the watch, knight champion of Macrag, and the Grand Duke of Talisa. I, Kato Sicarius, am bolstering the defense of a much less illustrious Captain Manius Domitius Pulcherius. I, Kato Sicarius, am leading a counter-attack on the heretic positions, bolstering the morale of the Imperial Guard regiments, by showing them my, Kato Sicarius, bravery in the face of death. I, Kato Sicarius, face the demonic lord leading these treacherous traitors. I, Kato Sicarius, am found cleaning my blades whilst sitting on the skull of the demonic beast that I, Kato Sicarius, have flawlessly defeated in battle by a tank regiment that I, Kato Sicarius, was unaware had joined us in battle. Be me, Lord of Change. Now my carefully laid plans for this sector that were supposed to lay undetected for another 200 years are all up in flames. At least some chaos sorcerer summoned me so I can fix this shit. Currently trying to deal with the fucking tank that just charged me. Idea dot demon. Channel warp energy. I bet those assholes and the tanks will like 4 more arms and 3 flaming mouths. Wait are those more space marines. The imperial fist brother Samus. Our drop pod comes hurtling out of the sun. At least half of the rogue tank is crushed beneath us. The surrounding melee is almost assuredly killed, injured, or dispersed by the impact. Drop the ramp on anything stupid enough to stand its ground. The Imperial Fist shall fortify this position advancing fire as we spill out of the drop pod to secure a perimeter. Be traitor guardsmen. Squad catches up to tanks trying to kill the Herald of Siege with tanks. Me and a few other heretics manage to get our grappling hooks to latch onto the tank. Whiplash of the tanks continuing to ram the demon send me to the dirt, dragging along as I try to climb up the chain rope. I can't see shit with all this dirt and filth flying at my face. Once I feel solid metal I'll latch on and clear my face of the filth. See the commissar pistol whipping the demon as it mutates the tank, giving it multiple limbs. Notice something coming in from sky. Oh fuck it's a drop pod. I attempt to jump off the tank and into cover, but I still get flung away from the blast. Hit the dirt and tumble into ditch. There is more than one broken bone in my body. This is not going according to plan.jpg. Hope a medic happens by to drag my ass out of the ditch soon. Be me. Still Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Kraston still loading the cannon. The other tanks in my unit are beginning to turn around and start firing into the mass of traitors approaching. My borrowed tank. Dasi Simlans revs up. Yell full speed ahead. Charge that fucking demon to Jacob. Tank speeds forward. Can practically hear the machine spirit singing as it charges at 50 kmph, near our top speed of 55 kmph. Rams square into the demon's chest and knock the wind out of it. It's still holding on to my tank, which is impressive but not unexpected. As I'm about to order every single fucking gun on this thing to fire, I hear something. A call in low gothic. See Praetorian Banner Blade ram into the side of the Greater Demon and ripping it off of my tank. Oh as a hull I hear crust and mumble as the Lord of Change is knocked to the side. Order all cannons to fire into the Lord of Change before I notice something. Commissa yells something as I hear footsteps on my tank. Also hear screaming. Sounds like. His will is chaos. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 fuck no one fuck you. Tell tertiary gunner Herman to fire onto whatever's on my fucking tank. Unsheath my familial power sword chaos cutter. My face when. Flip open hatch of tank. Carver traitor guardsman writes in half as he tries to stab the commissar. Realize I have my officer's power sword in my commander's hatch. Reach down and throw it to the commissar. Better get that back dodge if. 
Motherfucker unsheathes it midair before hacking into the guardsman. I guess that's the benefits of going to commissar school. Two hand power sword and jump out of command hatch. Cutting down heretics with the help of the commissar. Split several heretics in half before spotting chaos space marine charging at my tank. Tertiary gunner hoses him down with heavy bolt of fire before mega cannon fires again. Tank shakes. Almost fall off tank but regain my footing. Commissar almost falls off but I grab his hand before he's able to. At the exact same time as the main cannon fires. Two drop odds drop on and around my tank. They're painted yellow. Imperial fists. Fuck. Front of tank is crushed. Main cannon still firing but we can't fucking move. My face when. Still holding on for dear life as I can hear my crew screaming in pain. Pull commissar up with all my strength. Can hear tech priest crying. God damn it those sons of dawn fucked my tank. Ramp drops on remaining heretics. The imperial fist shall fortify this position. Oh well. Could have been an honest mistake I guess. Asses rest of damage to tank. Vox is still alright. Can hear shouting on the fox about how the imperial fists just fucked my tank. Also hear shouting for orders. Respond that I'm still alive but my tank is immobilized. Cadian is just standing there in awe as the imperial fists start gunning down the heretics. He suddenly springs from the tank and charges to join them. Stabbing a cultist through the neck. Oh well. I guess that's cool. Call for someone to come and fix my fucking tank. As I wait order rest of tank squadron to advance and fuck up the traitors. Look down to see Lord of Change writhing in agony as the Praetorian. The Imperial Fists and the Commissar continue to kick the shit out of it. Still sad about tank. Be me, Lord of Change. I don't even know who's hitting me anymore. It takes two tanks to make a demon lose sense of direction. I'm sure all my limbs are trapped beneath this fucking bane blade. How do I get out of this one? See broken Krieger tank. Bingo dot sorcery. I've possessed a lot of human beings in my life. Time to possess a tank. But first. The commissar currently carving my face ought to enjoy this stream of warp fire. Maybe it'll be normal fire or maybe it'll turn his face golden. Only the architect of fate knows. Be me. Commissar Matthias Mark. Pistol whipping this bird fucker is doing nothing. Thank god another bane blade rammed this fucking thing but it's a tough bastard. We have this bastard sandwich between us but that makes us sitting ducks. Cultists start climbing up the tank side just as I yell out a warning to the Kriegers. Some fancy Krieger in commander's gear hacks a cultist in half and chucks a sheathed power sword at me. Unsheathe that fucker in midair and cleave a heretic in half just like one of those animated DAU vids. Rules of nature dot vid feed. Tank's cannons start firing. Force of the cannon knocks me off the tank but Commander Krieger catches my ass just in time. Suddenly two space marine drop pods land on out fucking tank. They shout the imperial fist shall fortify this position. Squad moral restored dot vox. Charge at the big fucking bird with them and the remaining banner blade since this current tank's fucked. Kick the shit out of this nerd until he fucks back off to the warp. Fuck yeah dot humanity. B Captain Victoria Appleton, Praetorian Bannerblade Commander. Feel warp energies try to tear at my sanity. Shrug it off with the power of the Praetorian stiff upper lip. Imperial fist drop pod lands on other tank. Well that is just wasteful. Order driver to continue running over the big bird demon until it dies. Reload revolver at pick off some of the cultists milling around. Take that you blighters. Be me, Inquisitor Zeke the 84th. Shit's going down. The armored regiment of experimental banner blades we deployed to test them out are currently destroying everything in sight. At least there are results. Good ones at that. One banner blade in particular crushed a demon prince and is currently crushing a lord of change with a praetorian banner blade supporting it. Currently its engine was fucked by a space marine drop pod landing on it. An all out melee is going on around the scene. Imperial fists. These defective creakers. Cheapest Kriegers you can get that don't have physical mutations, and the Cadian Commissa versus some heretics and a lord of change. There are also some new Ultra Smurf reinforcements here. They are being led by. Oh Emperor damned everything but him. Emperor damned Kato Sicarius. Contemplate if deploying the prototype is a good idea. I really need to get results on all of these. 
Ah fuck it we are deploying it in case the enemy deploys some smaller titan. Still enjoy the shit chow that's happening. Feels good being an inquisitor. Rosette. Be me. Tankless tank commander Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Check my crew to see who's still alive. Hermans the tertiary gunner is still alive. Georg the driver is still alive. Oswald the tactical officer is still alive. Kruston the primary gunner is still alive. Heinrich the tertiary loader is still alive. Tech priest wishes she wasn't alive. Everyone else is dead. Fuck. Sit around on battlefield. Watch as Lord of Change begins channeling warp energy. Laugh my ass off as an imperial fists wielding a power fists gut punches the Lord of Change so hard it squeals out Cree. Order tertiary gunner to fire into hordes of oncoming enemies. Still waiting for repairs. See Tech Priest and Oswald comforting each other. Spot one tank behind the others. Got Kaisenine.pdf. Spot tank commander fighting for his life with a fucking chaos marine. Several of his traitor brethren in tow. Madman held off most of them on this tank. Order tertiary gunner to turn and fire on the group. He's fucking lit up and falls to the ground seconds later. Order Herman to continue firing and then to fire at will. Stand up out of tank. Tell tactical officer to take over for me for a bit. Look down at demon writhing in pain. Grip power sword. Take deep breath. Let out a walkery of sturby name and dare god Kazar as I leap into the air. End up descending from 2 meters due to height of tank. Ramblade through the skull of keeper of secrets. It lets out a final cry of cree before it's sucked into the warp. Stand up and pant. Fuck. I am not meant to be a commissar. Look around for a moment only to spot a deserted Macherius tank. Rush up as the imperial fists start moving on. Seems like the tank wasn't so deserted after all. Tank commander got wounded as several heretics tried to board his tank. Climb into hatch. Every part of his crew is still alive. These boys appear to be from the Armageddon regiment sent along to help us out with our Moors tank. Tell them that I, being the tank commander, am taking charge of this tank as my own tank has been immobilized. Crew agrees. Right up towards Imperial fists moving forward. See Commissar rallying his regiment. Raise sword into the air and point forward. In the best gothic I can muster. Shout. Sons of Dawn brothers of Cardia pause for dramatic effect and look forward as Kanto shit Carius is cowering in the corner as his men get their SS kicked by the forces commander. There lies the enemy the enemy that we have fought and bled to kill and these blue undisciplined smug men want to take it from us turn back to the two groups. With me my brothers let us vanquish these vile heretics together as one hear shouts of encouragement from Cadians. Imperial fists probably listening in but don't make too much of a fuss about it. Turn around and order driver forward. Tell gunner to fire into the crowd of oncoming heretics. Charmaraj lead Cadian counterattack with squadron. Other armored elements aiding us as we approach. My face when. Be me. Lord of change. All according to plan. These idiots think they've banished me. The creeds really helped seal the deal. Now time to possess a tank. Oh shit. I just remembered. I don't how to ride a tank. Fuck. Wait. I think I can rotate the turrets. Fire a missile at some cluster of marines. Figuring out how to turn the treads on. Since those idiots are still killing each other this can't go wrong. Bite scene I am a genius. Be traitor guardsman. Still stuck in ditch with many broken bones. Doesn't look like I'm getting out of here alive. Don't really want to die. Pray to Tsinch for some sort of help of any kind. I don't care what kind of help or gifts I get. I just want to make it out of here alive and mostly sane. Beat Sinch. Someone is beseeching me for aid again. Time to test out some new ideas I have. Throw tiny ball of mutating energy through time and space so that it lands on traitor Guardman's back. Eight giant tentacles grow out of the traitor guardsman's back. They can be used as arms, legs, or weapons. Met close enough. Be Imperial Fist Samus. We've immobilized the rogue tank. It seems to be avoiding shooting at loyalist forces now. I assume its attack on the ultra fags wasn't the crew's fault. Clearly now, the tank had been possessed by some demonic forces. Here's some of the crew crying inside. 
tears of joy dot salvation. The tank commander pops out and finishes off the demon after one of my brothers gets done pummeling it. He just jumps in and steals the kill like he thinks he's on our level. I'm surprised a glory seeker like that hasn't been recruited by the blueberries yet. Keep fighting while the tanker makes his little speech. Me and brothers take position in an enemy defensive line. It's not even a trench just what looks like a dried up irrigation ditch. We all take a second to look at each other in shared disgust. Who built this trench iron warriors? Equip a start size shovels and get to work making this a proper imperial fist emplacement. Hold the line here while the tanker leads a charge off in a race to beat gay to shit carriers and his ultra fags to all the glory. Be traitor guardsman. Be in ditch praying to tsinch for help. Feel something hit me in the back. What was that? Feel immense pain as if my back is getting flayed and massive maggots are pushing their way out of my spine. This is not a good pain dot mutation. See and feel a set of 8 tentacles that I now have. I finish my prayers thanking Seench greatly for his gifts. I patch myself up as best as I can and begin to tactically fall back to my fellow heretics. The ditches and holes will keep me safe as I make the trek back to safety. Be me, Inquisitor Zeke the 84th. Shit's getting extra heretical Seench demon just posit the Moors 2k. Not as plain dot heresy. Go to Astropath. Blah 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 I need sisters of battle and some grey knights about now. Plan to deploy them with the prototype and some armored support from some E100Ks. The Krieg tech priest call it blessed for some reason not connected to its size. The thing has a working kitchen with two OR3 toasters dot vox. They also dubbed D. In high gothic nave terrorist of tremula. Hope that the grey knights can stuff the thing with wards to keep the demons from possessing it. For now just watch the shit fest and eat popcorn. Contemplative exterminate using the world is a better idea. Be me. Tank commander Diederik Kolheim's chaos cutter. Glad the Cadians bought the whole you're not allowed to steal our glory speech. Don't even care about glory just want to die for the god Kaiser.Krieg. Rallying a counter attack in a Macharius might be a bit tricky due to the speed of it, but it seemed to have worked. Firing heavy bolter and heavy stubber into the oncoming horde of traitors. See Imperial Fists fortifying captured enemy defensive line. Vox my immobilized tank to cover them. Hear a mega cannon firing as I speed along. Guardsman in tow. Don't think it belonged to my moors though. Hear the Cadians shouting as they charge. This tank is slow enough the guardsman can keep up fine. Slow bastard.txt. Suddenly a missile shoots over my head. Lands in the middle of a bunch of ultra smurfs and thousand sons duking it out with one another. Kills both of them. Vox artillery commander and tell him to watch his fucking fire. We had, after all, killed enough ultra smurfs as it was. Artillery commander replies that they're holding fire. Smell heresy but don't think too much about it. Copy and switch channels. Ask for status report of other units in squadron. One's damaged but still moving. Two are moving to engage. Five are currently engaged. One just took one enemy vehicle out of action. All around. Doing well. Order squad to move to my position and join in on the charge. Look around and spot other vehicles driving ahead. Joining in on the charge. Praetorian banner blade from earlier driving a little bit away from me. See Chimera's joining in. What txt. Hear more chatter on Vox. Generals encouraging our forces to continue the counter attack. Wait. I thought this was just me and some guardsmen. Nope. Avi. Look around only to see guardsmen and more armored vehicles joining in on the charge behind us and on our flanks. Reason that the arrival of the Imperial Fists followed by my charge caused the chain reaction leading to the remaining forces charging. Just the will of the Emperor at work. Armored spearhead. Most about them haven't even heard my speech and are just charging out of their own volition. Or because their commissar is threatening to shoot them if they don't. Morale is evidently so high they don't need to, despite the fact that they're still getting shot at by heretic starts. My face when. Decide I should bolster morale even further. See chaos predator rolling up. Enemy spotted. PNG. Order vanquisher cannon to turn around and aim for the predator. See it aiming its cannons towards my tank. Can practically hear the traitors inside regretting ever exiting the warp. Even though I don't really know what that is. 
Fire vanquisher cannons while moving. Direct hit and predator lights the fuck up. Out of action. My already rock solid erection is reaching apocalyptic levels of strength at this moment as the ancient piece of tech is rendered into scrap metal. Most of my tank squadron has now rolled up. Order them to focus fire into the enemies in front of us. We're making one hell of a breakthrough here. Here cheering from the guardsmen as traitor vehicles. A starts and guardsmen are torn apart by our armored units firing. Here Vox buzzing as turret turns back forward again. It's Oswald. Says he's hearing weird shit and the tech priest is reciting canticles of the Omnisha as more tech priests arrive to help repair the tank. Says the machine spirit is being fucky. Hello. Uh -oh. Order him to remove all ammunition from the tank. But sir do it for god kaiser's sake Oswald complies. Continue counter attack unbothered by my borrowed tank being fucked with. Be mutated guardsman. Made it back to our trench area relatively unharmed. Things are not going in our favor. We're getting pounded by all the fucking armor these assholes brought with them. Unless we get more potent armor than them or some actual anti-armor weapons we're more fucked than a slanishy whore at happy hour. At least we're able to keep the fucking infantry at bay for now with our encampments and cover. I get some medical treatments to keep me from dying anytime soon and then placed at a heavy weapons emplacement to keep the corpse worshippers at bay. My eyesight is still fucked from my mutation before the gift from Siege, but I'm not suicidal enough to talk back to my ex-commissar commander. I get the two heavy bolter turrets set up, the tentacles are quite handy and so I don't need a team to help keep them loaded and jam free. Still can't see at a distance for shit, so I just aim at the yellow looking targets and whatever's moving along with them. Not sure if I'm hitting them, or if they're just ducking into cover. Pretty sure they're still alive. I either need glasses or new eyes. Seriously, I fucking love a good TG ship posting thread, and it feels like so long since the gold shorter. You know, it has actually been over a year. I think it started in March, I believe, so fuck me, coming up, like, you know, not far off a year and a half, if i be honest with you. So, like, honestly, it's really good to see one again. I fucking love these. Um, they're some of my favourite shit on the internet. Um, I could spend all day leaving them, you know. Um, but, look, so, this here thread, I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to get it all hammered out within the next two weeks, hopefully. I'm going to cut it up into four parts. So, look, it's coming very soon. Just wait for it. Don't worry. Um, remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to know when it comes out. And, look, that's all I want to tell you guys for the meantime. It's coming, alright? Um, I'll see you soon, alright? Hope you guys enjoyed.